Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Loop Hero. This is Girdle RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as uh, we take take on the third level with a Necromancer. That's what I'm going to do. That said, I am considering changing the decks here. I'm thinking... Attack speed is really powerful, but base HP, not so much for the Necromancer. You know what? Let's see what happens when I take this deck. Let's go. Act 3, Necromancer, Arsenal. I mean, Arsenal goes in first. So, uh, this is... Uh, this boss doesn't require us to have stuff over here. So, I'm just going to pack these things with enemies. Then it's going to be amazing. Nobody's going to be uh, unhappy about that at all. And uh, we don't have a weapon. We do have a shield and we don't have armor. Uh, taking the... Um, Taking the, uh, I was considering taking the, the the other card that removes the HP, the bonus HP from armor, because precisely we don't we don't have armor. But maybe the arsenal is gonna be good. I don't think we have messed with the arsenal. I I I was before I started recording. I was I was uh, considering my options. And we got a cemetery over here. Should I put it in already? Well, let's put it over there. Uh, I was considering my options, and uh, let's let's wait until this is done. Uh, and. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have ever done this build with a necromancer, the with you know, specifically having the arsenal. I don't think I have. I think I've always gone with a crypt. But maybe I did. I don't know. I'll have. I would have to have checked the previous episodes. So far, the first loop level seems pretty une uneventful. I don't think the cemetery is going to spawn anything in this loop, but maybe it will. We have a, a grove. We will put the grove uh, over here. Hmm. Over here would be interesting. Let's put it over there. Uh, so we put a blood grove right there, potentially elsewhere. All right, we'll see. We'll see. It's gonna be fine. We're likely not gonna fight the boss. Also, we have an amulet, and we will equip the amulet. We also have a ring, and we will put that. We now we have another grove, so we put groves all over the place, and everybody's very happy. Mm-hmm. Magic armor is where it's at, as usual. So, if I want. Okay, now I can put a blood grove over here, but the thicket can go anywhere, really. I can put it over there, and uh, that allows me to have a blood grove over here, and then uh, I, I will need probably a grove over there, but I don't think we will find too many blood groves. Let's put that stuff up there and see where this is going. Oh, we got more flint and whatnot, and there it is. It's a spawn, and we got our friends attacking the slime. It's, uh, it's fine. Sounds like a euphemism, actually, but off we go. I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of blood groves. Because we never have. They just they just never exist. Terrible. Terrible cards. I hate them. Seriously, we should have an extra one. I thought I thought there was an extra one. There was a, a similar thing to to a uh, blood grove. Oh, it's the hungry groves when you uh, when they um, when they don't have anything to feed on and they just uh, they just attack you instead. Attack everything, in fact, but still attack. And I don't like them. They're bad. They sh I think they should be avoided. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't have them. But maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I'm not uh, particularly happy about the fact that uh, uh, I, I, I'm losing my. I'm losing my armor. My magic armor. Speaking of magic armor, we have that, and evasion, that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm losing it, and uh, it's the only loop two. And that is, you know, how easy it is to lose with uh, with a necromancer. That said, I will I will focus on having... Ooh, man, that is powerful right there. Uh, I didn't even check for... It's just attack speed. Attack speed is not too bad. Um, so, yeah, I will, I will focus on having characters around here, or enemies around here. Uh, we have another one over here with attack speed instead, and regen per second. We don't really want that at the moment, I think. Uh, defense is pretty interesting. I don't know that magic HP ignores defense or doesn't. I don't remember. Okay, we got our first extra HP. I kind of I wanted to pause, and I messed up. I pressed twice. <laughs> That's how I messed up. Come on. There we go. Ooh, we got to believe in these are very important. Well, somehow important. And moving on then, switch to adventure. I think I did. I unswitch to, or were the were these two together, very closely together, or did I, did I unswitch to uh, to adventure again? 
I don't know. Because it does it automatically. As soon as you're holding on to one of the uh, cards, then it switches up here to planning. The game basically pauses. But not while in here. Well, it also does it. No, actually, you can't. Yeah. Yeah, you can just hold. It pauses. Oh, that's cool. We got a lot of... Oof. Mm, yeah, we got a lot of uh, mountains. I'm hopeful that my strategy of making the big mountain and then just putting mountains around, I'm hopeful that that will be better than using the rocks. Uh, we got ourselves a forest. Little kitty cat. They have a bow. A bowman. A skeleton. Uh, we have a powerful shield and a very powerful grimoire. That is very handy. So, the, you know, the deck is not going too badly. The deck, I mean, the the cards up here. You know, we're suffering in terms of rings, but mm, that's, yeah. We've got summon quality plus 17%. We have, speak, Speaking of rings, uh, is that the bad one? That is the bad one. Summon quality increased as well. Very nice. And then we have a kitty cat. Our magic HP is holding steady. I like that. That is very important. It's just, for me, it's a measure of... Uh, it might be the defense working in our favor. Uh, it is the measure of my survivability. It's just how fast I lose all my HP. Or magic HP, rather. Because even though... Sometimes it doesn't happen. Because they attack our skeletons. But other times, it just does. And I can't do anything about that. So this decreases the maximum number of enemies. I will hold on to that one. I don't think I want that until I am like... Uh, face it. Like, imagine... Because, you know, it's so fast to go around. Imagine I have four skeletons over there. Maybe I put that in there and it reduces it to three immediately. It's really good that it applies retroactively, so, yeah. Uh, we're getting our... Oh, yeah, we're getting good stuff now. We're getting real good stuff. We got a Chrono Crystal. You know what? Okay, so the description of this thing is just bonkers. Um, this stuff basically doubles the, the effect of anything, as far as I can tell. It's just... Except for this one. It, it doubles the effect of mountains. <laughs> it doubles the spawn rate of buildings. It doubles, it certainly doubles the, the this thing over here. But you need to put it next to the meadows and not, as I was doing, um, next to wherever you are. Doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. That is definitely not what it is. I thought if you were on an adjacent tile, what happens when the day passes gets doubled. What happens on the day passes? I get, uh, look, let's look at that, HP per day. It would get 12. Doesn't that make sense? I think that makes sense. I'm pretty sure that is exactly what it's supposed to be. So I have not been using the Chrono Crystals uh, properly up until now. Uh, I will... I want... Yeah, I'm not going to place you down there. Uh, I wouldn't mind that over there, though. Uh, because uh, doubling the spawn rate there is actually beneficial. But the Chrono Crystals are trash. They are unwieldy to use. They're, if they, like, quadrupled, maybe they would be a little bit better. But they're... they're yeah, I don't, I don't like them at all. So that's for, uh, let's put you over here, and uh, Road Lanterns are there as a backup. We have the uh, bad things up there. Let's continue. Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello. You little jelly bean. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently people are confused as well by what I quickly looked up online. That's what that Fate of Black was, by the way, if you're wondering what the heck just happened. It was me, that, well, finally acquiescing to remembering how to look it up, or that I should look it up. It doesn't make any sense. It didn't make me... It didn't make me happy. That's, uh... It's bad. It's bad. That chrono, that description is, uh... Yeah. It's definitely not, like, at all what what is being there. Uh, so we got a cemetery. That is good news. I could put the cemetery right there. Or I could put it over here. Uh, let's put it over there. It didn't take care of the kitty kitty. That's good. I want to kill the kitty kitty. We got a speeder. And we will kill the speeder. That's dead. Move. And, uh... Hmm... I wonder what happened. Oh, you can shoot. Oh, maybe you can't shoot me. Can you not? Uh, Archer's in close combat. Hmm. Because he definitely can shoot my, my Skellingtons. Oh, we got good things in here. We got real good things in here. Hmm. Mm. Attack speed extra. No, I like this one better. Even though that one... Yeah, it's, this one is really good on the... On the Skellington level. We got another cemetery. That is good because that... Oh, that's a lovely shield over there. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Huh. Okay, put that over there and move on. Hmm. These guys are spawning, of course, at double rate. We finally have a blood grove. I'll put it over there. We have another mountain. 
things are not looking very good for our mountain. I'm not very happy about that. We got a treasury. I am very happy about that. And we got a bookery. Okay, well, treasury goes uh, here. Or here. No, here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There is good. And then we have a shield, but we don't pay attention to that. This will... Mm, that's bad, because I, I have some really cool things. I don't want to use the bookery right now. Mm, yeah, this is this is not great. Let's push on. Because we don't have a village. It's... Oh my god, the villages. Just give me villages so I can get rid of these. I mean, I suppose that's alright. So, uh, road lanterns are gonna go in. Because... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep one of them around. They, they really basically have no effect <laughs> out here. Because, you know, they're not gonna, we're not gonna spawn anything here. It's still only jelly beans. I mean, we're gonna spawn them eventually, maybe. And we got our first level. That is lovely. So, what do I want you to do? Do I want you over here? Yes, yes I do. Do I want you over there? Yes, yes. Okay, so that is... Get a new set of three traits. Okay, plus one maximum number of skeletons. That is actually pretty good. Any direct damage to the hero will be... Evenly split between him and his skeletons. That is absolutely what I want. Thank you very much. And uh, even though the maximum skeleton number would be pretty good, and it is good because we're putting forests in, and as such our attack speed goes up, I'm not really focusing on our attack speed all that much, so, you know, maybe maybe it is good, maybe it isn't. I think we're about to lose mountains. I don't think I should do what I'm doing right now. You know the mountains that close. If I lose the wheat fields, that's all right. Because the big, the big battles here are gonna, um, they're gonna test the number of things I have. I finally have a new ring over there, and that is another forest. We have a new shield, but we, that doesn't matter. We have a lot of enemies in here. That's all right. It made that sound. Uh, yeah, this is all right. Still no villages though. Got a tank. Tank is taking all the damage. Having the help here is helping, I suppose. It's really taking taking a while. Uh, oh, the potions we're using. Yeah, that sucks. Maximum HP. Yeah, we're not going to go with that. Even though we probably should. Hmm. Not great. Absolutely not great. Hmm. So I'll put you over there. I'll put the meadows here. The rocks go there. Hmm. These guys were not helping. I should have put the cemetery the other way around. Attack speed plus 10%. Hmm. Yeah, that isn't bad. I need maximum skeletons. I think. Not really. Summon quality. Yeah, this is a new... This is a better one, for sure. Yeah, this one... Mm, I don't know. Attack speed plus 10% is kind of interesting. But it isn't. Wow. <laughs> this is how it starts. When I say wow, by amazed by how fast we lose all of our health. Okay, it's a holding steady. Uh, okay, we finally have... a. Uh, a village and immediately we lose a wheat field that is fine we don't really need the wheat fields all that much uh, and uh, you're about to, well actually you're pretty good uh, that said you might send things in there oh no no that still doubles the or uh, reduces I don't know it reduces the spawn over there and over here oh no no it spawns over here okay so that's good uh, then the meadows uh, and then the mountains the road lantern I'm gonna put the road lantern in here should I put it over there? Because mm. I want the blood grove over here. Mm. Let's put it over there. And see where this is going. Oh! Look at this shield. Regen per second is pretty good. Skeleton level. Yeah, but the defense is, is actually way more important. Let's switch to adventure. It's a very high level shield. Those are rare. Rare and far between. 
Okay, please don't attack me too much. Skeletons here are not really managing to land any attacks. Regen per second and evasion. No. This is bad. This is really bad. We will survive. I think. But still really bad. Good. So, you mean to tell me that this thing spawned immediately as I put a single farm in here? And you mean to tell me as well that... Oh, they spawned just all over. Okay. We have a shield for defense. Skeleton level, the huge increase, we'll go with that. Magical amulet over here for attack speed and summon skeleton level. Uh, that is pretty good. The defense is kind of nasty, but now nah, we'll go with it. And then we have a bunch of mountains... Uh, that could give us a bit of extra HP, but honestly, I'm good with where it is. And we have a, our first quest. Oh wait, these are the things that give us quests. That's why I haven't been giving, uh, been given quests because I just don't have these. I forgot. Yes, gives you a quest. I forget. I forgot about that. That is uh, wow. That's why we just don't get them because we don't have villages. The game just hates giving me villages. Uh, we got another Chrono Crystal here. Let's put you... Uh, maybe here? Here. Let's go with that. And then we have mountains for days. I'm just going to acquiesce to the game. And uh, do what I have to do. Do what I absolutely have to do. And move on. Because... It's just not going to happen. We're just not getting rocks enough for me to min-max. It's all right. I think. Put that over there. <coughs> Kitty cat dies. How did I lose health, by the way? Did I mess up? Or did I not pay attention to something? Was it because of the mountains that I put in? I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking of other things. Okay, and then we have meadows. That's good for there. We have mountains. We have rocks. How dare you? How dare you do this to me? How dare you do this to me, video game? I'm gonna put the bookery on your face. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, so, Oblivion, I will put the bookery down. And I will use the Oblivion before that happens. Hopefully. Because, you know, plans, plans, plans. You know how it goes. We've got a couple of cats and a bunch of spiders up ahead. Spiders will actually be a huge problem. The cats are also pretty bad. You mean to tell me that you... Oh. That is bad. Very high level skeleton right there. That might actually do the trick. Plenty. That thing hits over there. That is a troubling revelation. Hmm. Very troubling. Anyway, now we should be able to summon better skeletons. It doesn't look like we are. I'll switch to planning. No, we're doing our job. Yeah, it's not bad at all. We got a grimoire for extra evasion. Uh, is that a 28? That is a 28. I don't like it. Summon quality. Uh, this ring is interesting. Extra defense. 1.15, 18. So I think, yeah, I think it's better than this one. In terms of uh, the percent. Uh, maybe it isn't. I don't know. It, it's, it, the, the extra defense is nice. Okay, let's put that over there. The wheat fields. Put that over here. And you are going to be bookered. Ooh, this guy just spawned in. Are we dead? We're going to resurrect twice. But that doesn't mean we're going to be safe. That guy just takes forever to attack. I also noticed that it evaded. I don't know what it evaded, but it did. Okay, we got, I think, the quest objective or something. Because that was a bunch of loot. No potions. I'll just look at my loot in a little. There we go. And we got things up here. Did I miss that happening? 
Uh, we got defense, extra skeleton level, regen per second. Uh, it's interesting, I like it, let's go. What about this one? Extra defense, summon quality, evasion defense. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, then we have an amulet, a proper upgrade here. I'll go with that. We have a defense evasion summon quality. That is better than that one. We have a grimoire over here. Uh, no, they're not as good, unfortunately. The, def the evasion is really nice, though. The attack speed is interesting. Yeah, but it's it's I'm floating my my uh, summon quality too much. I shouldn't have done what I did there. Uh, just keep it over there, I suppose. Uh, move on then. We're really in a bad way, all things considered. All things considered. Uh, uh yeah, and you. Let's see. Deals a full hand of oblivion. Hmm. I like that. Yeah, you get out of there. <laughs> I like that. A permanent plus 0 0.5 bonus to energy armor for every summoned skeleton. Uh, that is interesting as well. Energy armor. Unseen care. I'm actually going to go with that. It's good to have that early in the game. But... My skeletons die pretty fast. So it should give me... I mean, the armor matters. And these long battles are... Are going to be good. For... For that armor. It, it really is a good perk. Oh man, I'm doing it wrong here. It really is a good perk. For me right now, but it, I wish it happened earlier. It doesn't say... Oh, I'm attacking now. Um, it doesn't say what my energy armor is. We're holding steady. Switch to planning. We have some new things. Some really new things. This is interesting. Summon quality 18, 0.23 skeleton level. Instead of defense. Let's go with that. Skeleton level is really important. Please kill them. Okay, we got two bookeries now. We'll put them down. Okay, switch to planning. What do we have? Attack speed. Hmm. Nah, it's mine is better. Even though it doesn't have... Attack speed is really good, but... It can save me every once in a while, is basically what I'm saying. And then our grimoire over here. Attack speed, yeah, we're, we need to balance all the things. Okay, so bookery goes in here, and a bookery goes in there. And uh, we're going to see what happens with the bookery. Because we're not going to have too many chances of, uh, of using them anyway. So the sooner we put them down, the better. I'm taking damage, even while I have this guy over here. Uh, we have ourselves a skeleton level extra defense that is pretty good. I'll go with that. And we have extra defense on that amulet. We're not going to do that. And we're healing a little bit here, which I was counting on. Because uh, the the passing through the start house or whatever, start bit, start tile, doesn't, doesn't do everything. And then we have the, the robbers. Hopefully they'll rob my skeletons instead of me. Are they the ones? They are bandits, so I think, yes, that is the, the answer. Switch to planning. Okay, and then we have nothing here that matters. And then we have just some free uh, magic resistance, basically, or energy resistance. A battlefield. Hmm, I like that. Should have happened earlier, but I like that. I wonder if I should put the battlefield next to a Chrono Crystal. Not that I'm going to do that, but... Ooh, finally got the Blood Grove there. That's what's been missing. Uh, the, I don't like that. Oh, we got a forest. Yeah, I don't like that at all over there. Hmm. Hmm. Attack speed evasion. I'll go with that. 
it's an upgrade on the on the level, but also uh, it might make the difference. We're really not rolling with maximum skeletons, unfortunately. We got a bunch of things in here. Okay, meadow. What is it? Uh, HP at the start of each day. Don't need that. Uh, this I do. So I didn't get the stuff out of that. Okay. Well, I need these up here. So there it is. Because we might die. We might be about to die. Uh, my... Oh, man, this took a huge amount of damage. These are goblins. Right. They look like goblin kids. Okay, you evade, please. First target... Oh, it's probably attack all, or damage all, that they have. And that's why I'm, uh... I'm taking so much damage. Evaded the gargoyles attack there. I think. Yeah, this is... Are you life-stealing? Look at the health. Under stony stairs. St stair. Not stony stairs, that's different. Hmm. It's pretty bad. Okay. You are healing over time. But it doesn't show up as healing. Can you please die? I would really like it if you just died. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Anyway, that's going to be that for this episode because we're out of time for the day. So, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Loop Hero. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.